Hey everybody, what's up? I'm Mason Mason. In this video, I am uh, stone veneering the fireplace here. So, pretty cool. Um, so I'm going to show you how to stick the uh, rocks on here. So I got a piece here and I got a piece here. And uh, here's the first one, right? So I'm going to go right there. Looks good. Even spacing all around, you know, it's right. I have two cuts on here. Uh, I'll show you how to hide those. If you notice, it's fake stone, so when you cut it, it's got a concrete showing. The first thing you're going to want to do is have your mortar. It's uh, semi-stiff, but it's still a little wet, too. In the mortar, you put this stuff called bonding agent. So it actually goes in the mortar, and you mix it together, right? Then, this stuff is called bonding adhesive. That's bonding agent. Agent goes in the mud, this gets painted on. You see how there's a roller there? I get a lot of people saying you don't have to do this. I have never had anything stick together so hard in my life other than using this with the bonding agent. So again, a lot of people don't do it. I do it. Go above and beyond. So you just take a paintbrush and you paint it on the back. Cover it. It's really kind of like a glue. Take your mortar, put it on there. You don't want it too thick or it'll slide off the wall. Now, since I got a cut, right, I just smear a little bit of mortar on there. That hides the concrete. I think this looks better than seeing the concrete, personal opinion. Same thing here. All right, now we're gonna stick her on. Clean your trowel off. And stick her on there. And you just kind of hold it in place until it starts to harden up. There you go. That's it. Stuck on there. So that's how you lay a stone. All right, so now we're going to talk about how you space them out. One, you notice these are all the rocks I have left. So it's getting quite challenging to put them on the wall. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, but what I try to do every time is uh, it's not like a brick wall. It's not like a, a block wall. You, you run like two or three in a row and you got to break it up. I break it up. I mean, break it up. The line hits a stone right here, right? This line hits a stone here. This line, you got two or... I guess we'll go over here. Two, three, break, you know what I'm saying? One, two, break, break. So you, I, I don't like to go over four or over three, but sometimes you gotta go four. Uh, forgot what I was doing right there. So I went a little way too far on that line, but it looks all right. Um, Another thing that you want to think about is you don't want any four ways. That looks like crap in my opinion. Maybe you like it. A four way would be like if you move this over here. So you have just a four way would look like this. Right? See how the joints go here? I just think that looks really bad. Don't do that. Make sure you're overlapping at least like that. Yeah, just mix it up your, your patterns. You don't have to lay it like a, a block wall. So, um, like if you notice here, if I came out, switched it up a little bit here, right? Like it's not perfectly in line there. You just put random pieces that kind of, you know, make it look like real natural stone. I'm gonna go over this one more time here. So I got another piece. 
this one paint the back with your bonding adhesive. I think a little bit of it looking a little dirty is better than looking like a little cut, in my opinion. Okay. Oops, almost missed it. Yeah. So here we are. Sometimes you gotta wiggle it, squish that mortar out. was the only piece I could absolutely find that would even work here. Um, I like to skip around just so I can get more stone in the wall fast. If you notice, I got holes in it here and there. That's just because I'll come back and make pieces, but sometimes that's challenging. But overall, you get more stone laid that way. And then you come back and do your pieces. That is how you stick a stone veneer onto a wall. Not much to it. If you got any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Leave them in the comments. And uh, thanks for watching.